It had been quite some time since Kentucky had lost five straight games. How long? I wasn't even born. You have to go all the way back to 1990 since it's happened. The Crimson Tide of Alabama, they could change that today. Both teams somewhat on the bubble, each desperate for a W. UK were the aggressors from the get-go. Nick Richards, the one-handed hammer. And then Richards will flush it home with two hands. Both of the assists from Shea Gilgis Alexander. You know who else had himself a nice game? Quad A Green in a nice first half. First, the beautiful little teardrop. Then Green, hip hip Quad A, will take it coast to coast. That puts Kentucky up 13-9. Green finished with 12. Five Wildcats in double figures, including Nick Richards, who had 10. Closing seconds of the first half, Hami Diallo hangs and hits. UK up 39-34 at the break. Now let's let the real fun begin. The firecrackers once again lit Rupp up. Look at that. Not too shabby from the young ladies. Second half action. Jared Vanderbilt had himself a nice second frame. A floater here. Kevin Knox didn't score in the first half, but he turned it on the second. The triple from the corner. Cats up 50-48. And the fans are hyped. Knox wasn't done. 13 second half points for Kevin. Second on the team to only P.J. Washington, who had 16. There's Washington. Strong take in the layup. Cats trying to separate themselves late. Look at the bounce pass from Quad A Green, a little nutmeg. And the slam from Vanderbilt, that put Cats up four. They would pad the lead. Vanderbilt, his best game as a Cat with 11. UK wins 81-71. Alan Cutler has our post-game report. You can't say after all this that one game means everything has changed. We will say, wow, what a difference. This team played offense, they played defense, they played together, they hustled. Five cats and double figures. P.J. led everyone with 16 for Kentucky. And wow, 44-27. 44-27. That was the rebounding advantage. I don't think nobody in the locker room ever lost four games in a row in their life, really, through AAU, high school. So this is, like, this is really hard on all of us. We, have a, we had a losing streak. Honestly, I feel like we needed that. I'm not saying that many losses, but it, it kind of helped us come back together as a team, trust each other more. They played desperate. Hungry is a good word, but sometimes desperate. You know, when you're coming in and you've lost four in a row and you're playing in this environment with the tradition that's here, pretty desperate. We have to start taking games from people, which means desperation. See this? I'm smiling. If this is the start of a change, the truth is this can still be a happy march. Alan Cutler, LEX 18 Sports. Fantastic win and a fantastic Three Stooges tie. And welcome back to Bam at a Bio. The man gets a few days off for the All-Star break, and you know what he does? He makes the trip up from Miami to Lexington, sunny Miami to Lexington, I may add. He was the Y at today's game. And while we're on the topic of Cats alumni, how about Devin Booker? They had to get a tarp out at the Staples Center because he was making it rain. Booker, the youngest in the contest and the best. His 28 points in the finals takes down Clay Thompson. And Booker's 28 points in the finals is also an all-time record. Next up for Kentucky is a trip to Arkansas since Coach Cal took the reins at UK. The Wildcats get this, just one and three in Fayetteville. Razorbacks blew past Texas A&M today. How about 94 to 75? And they're hot. Winners of four straight. It's UK and Arkansas Tuesday, 9 o'clock in Fayetteville. The Kentucky women's team swept the season series against that same Arkansas team on Thursday. And in the process, they snapped a three-game losing streak. The task now, a trip to Columbia, South Carolina to face the nation's second best team and the defending national champs. We will have those highlights tomorrow in sports. The El Camino Choo -choo Stakes, Choo Choo came in as the favorite with nine to five odds. Here's the stretch. On the outside of Muggeritz, and she takes command with a furlong to go. It's paved in front. Muggeritz is second. Coming late is Blended Citizen. Paved has to go another hundred yards, but it looks like she's going to do it. And Paved has defeated the boys in the El Camino Real Derby under a beautiful ride. So Paved with two to one odds wins the El Camino Blended Stakes. Citizen also third. today, the risen so star at the fairgrounds. A huge race for Derby preps and still regard. Came in as the eight to five favorite. Here's that stretch. These two take this tussle into the final fairgrounds for long. Noble Indy looks to join up the rail. On the outside is instilled regard who needs to pick up late. Then high north. They're close to home. Bravazo and to the inside. Snapper Sinclair, a driving finish. Bravazo and Miguel Mena and Snapper Sinclair. 
Photo Bravazzo takes down star. Snapper Sinclair in the photo finish. What a race that was. Doubleheader action for the Cats today at USC oh, Upstate. Grounded. UK scored six Good unanswered in game side. one to win 6-5. Game home. two, it was all Carpenter Kentucky the from the get-go. Is... They win 10-3. UK is 3-0 oh on the season. And yep. we will be right back.